What next after San Ignacio? Well, Positus didn't seem too appealing, according to LP, so we chose Resistencia. Arrived late, greeted by huge frogs, we jumped in a cab to the dilapidating hostel Bariloche. Bit of a mistake, since we should have taken the slightly more expensive but breakfast-inclusive three-star hotel. Next day, we left with our bags on our backs to navigate the city. Actually, town. Nope, let's just call it a large village with one central square plaza, nothing but two museums. Resistencia is famed for three things. The number of signs that it has throughout its town. The number of statues and monuments to famous or not so famous people. And finally, dogs. Straight dogs. The emblem of Resistencia. Now it's onto the two museums. A camel goes seven days without a drink, but who the hell wants to be a camel? Not me. This museum, while a place of cultural interest, is a memory of Resistencia after the war, a home to local artists, a commemoration of its rich owners, I mean, it's pretty, there's a lot of design, and there's memories of people who used to hang out here. Obviously, they're dead now. You can't visit upstairs because it was always like this, even when he was living here. There was um, a key outside the door for anyone to enter that um, area to take a drink, to just relax. To Draw, but he wanted to make sure that no one was going upstairs since it was his house. Mm -hmm. So that's why they keep it like this. Cool. By 2pm, that was it. The town was shut to all. Bars, restaurants, museums, yes the two, were all closed as locals fled from the dead heat of the bare sky as the sun forced its heat into every crack beneath its glare. And we had to find refuge. So we sought it in the only place we knew that has superb air conditioning. How are you feeling? I'm a bit tired, especially my shoulders, they are hurting. Why? Because look at those bags, they are huge, and we are carrying them throughout the city with that sun, which is like very, very hot. Hot and sticky, heavy bags. Yeah. Oh, I'm and sorry. So far, the city is not the best city we've seen. So hopefully, you know, Cordoba is going to impress us. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, I never let you. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. Ta da! Thanks for listening. The siesta ended our relationship with Resistencia. It was time to head to our next stop on a 12-hour overnight bus ride to the second largest city in Argentina, Cordoba. See you there.